Did you write the last CS INET exam? No, sir. Not yet. Okay. So tell me, what are the problems you are facing with your preparation right now? Sir, in 2023, I have given, in 2022, I have given since our exam, and that in Part B section, I have problem. Okay. I have gone to school, Part C and Part A, but in Part B section, I have not secured a good marks. Okay. So, 2022, you wrote? 22. Okay. And what was the challenge you faced there when you were writing the exam? So, I can't... Uh, I can't uh, remember that uh, uh, questions and answer of that question. But the part B it was two uh, directly questions. Uh, okay. That's okay. Um, did you face problems with time management also? No, sir. Okay. How many questions you attempted in the exam? I have attempted 100. 100 questions. Okay. And how much was negative marking? How much marks you lost because of negative marking? So I have secured uh, 84 percentile at time. 84 percentile. Marks. Okay. Okay. Good. So 84 percentile to 99 percentile. What is the difference? What is the distance? So it is almost 10 to 15 percent. 15 percent. Right. 84 to 99 is 15 percent. Right. So, 15% distance, is it too difficult or too easy? It's too easy, also too difficult. Yes. Too easy, if too I difficult. If I prepare with the right, right path, it is easy. Good, good, good. So, what I am going to do is, we are going to divide this session into two parts. The first part will be where I will train you on strategy and then Tanushri Ma'am will train you on the subject matters. Okay. So, 84 percentile you got, you have to get to 99 percentile. The distance is only 15 percentile, right? Sadly, you, you did not write the exam last year. So, we would have known what was the improvement. But anyways, so now let us say that, okay, 84 you have and you have to get to 99. So, which section of your question paper can help you the most to get there? Part C. Part C. So now, how do you score more in Part C? So by understanding the concept, because actually I can understand the concept, but I do not remember the exact in Part C B section it was exactly asking. Right. Because I and the option was similar. Yeah, that way is is it? Right. Right. So you know uh, when we start exercising on the first day, it will be very difficult. Right. And slowly yes. it reduces the effort reduces and you start enjoying the process same with exam also when you write part c for the first time or maybe uh, without adequate preparation you won't be able to survive the question and you will feel that the options are too close but to find that similarity you have to practice more part c questions so that's the one suggestion i can give you but don't just solve part c questions instead look at the question and think should i solve it or not Okay, so that way you can think. All right. Now the next point will be if you you can score maximum in part C, then you can lose maximum in part C also. Yes, Correct. Sir. How many questions you have to attempt in part C? So it was twenty-five. Twenty-five. And how many total questions you get in part C? Seventy-five. So 75 questions will be there, only 25 you have to pick. That means ratio is 1 is to 3, right? For every question, you, one question you select, you can easily reject two questions, right? It's a ratio. So when you look at the question, you always know that, okay, I, I can easily reject. So now for part C, there has to be three layers. The first layer is when you just glance and reject, glance, reject, okay? Now solve only those which you feel is easy. Okay, so you have scored the maximum marks. Next, you go back again to part C, layer two. And then what happens is you look at a moderate, really tough questions. Okay, moderately tough, moderately tough matlab, if you spend five minutes on it, you should be able to solve. Easy means you, you can solve it within one minute. Right, so that's layer one, layer two done. So in layer two, you have done moderately difficult questions. 
and then you have to look back at part c how many total questions you have solved easy plus moderate okay now layer 1 plus layer 2 should exceed at least 15 okay now let us assume that 15 questions all of them are correct so how much you are scoring now 60 right 60 marks is for sure in part c then now the battle is for the next 40 marks so now you have to look for only 10 questions which are difficult out of whatever is left over but you can still solve and that's how you achieve 25 questions so 15 should be easy plus moderate now if you do not find easy plus moderate is equal to 15 that means there is some flaw in your preparation so how do you do this now see exam is now 6 months later right so you start like looking at previous year question paper and look at part c only part c you have to solve nothing else just forget the other sections they don't exist look at okay if this was the question paper which all questions i would have solved and would have said okay within 1 minute i can solve right and then those who are which are moderately difficult so moderate plus easy is equal to 15 okay and then you have to look at other 10 out of the remaining okay out of the remaining 55 questions only 10 you have to select right but remember you have to attempt all part c questions okay if you are well trained for part c if your conceptual clarity is high there is there are very less people who have scored less in part c and they would have secured a jrf do you agree i don't think any there will be anybody who has secured less in part c and has secured a jrf very less chance so you have to master part c so 25 questions this is how you do the breakup now you have attempted attempted all the questions review it again and look at those questions where the options are very near and probably you are still taking the risk right aapne wahi bola bhi this is what you said no options were too near, close to each other and i got confused there is no need of attempting it skip it look for another question okay see the paper setters are adjusting the question each time it is evolving like how you have the survival of the fittest right so the question setter also is observing you all and your preparation and how you are preparing and accordingly they are increasing the level of difficulty okay so you have to understand what is his strategy he wants you to reject every two question in part c for each one question you select so one is to two ratio one is to three ratio right one selection out of three okay so this is about the strategy now tell me what next problem you faced I'm not really remember most of the things. Ah, good, good. That's a very big challenge for most of us, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say January. Which topic you studied this January? So unit one. Unit one, right? So now, whenever you try to recall sitting alone, you will be able to recall most of the things, right? But when it goes to March or April, slowly it will evaporate. okay this is human behavior it is nothing to do with you it is human behavior everybody faces this okay so quick revision is the important thing so maybe you may made notes or you are following the biotechnica notes whichever way it is you have to have a quick glance of whatever you studied last month every sunday create a ritual and how do you create a ritual what is a ritual ritual is before this and after that i will do this okay so let us say jagriti you uh, have studied unit 1 in january so first week of february or say second week of february you going to do you you are going to in, you know revise the entire unit 1 in one day that is a sunday say every second sunday of every month you are going to revise whatever was taught in the previous month or you studied in the previous month using your notes now you are not supposed to go and read everything you just quickly glance through look at the page recall look at the page recall and then solve some questions out of that so ritual is like okay before my dinner i have to finish this particular thing after my lunch i have to finish this particular thing so that's a ritual right that's how you can uh, you know brush up your concepts at the grassroots level most of uh, you know strategists and teachers think that hey you are a 
post graduate right so you should be able to do it but that's not true see we all are humans right and we all have vulnerabilities we all have distractions right so when you are getting distracted what should, what you should do you have to realign back to the goal right i would invite tanishree ma'am now to guide you thank you so much sir so my uh, hello janriti so basically as <coughs> sir so has already mentioned uh, that we have to focus on part c because part c is very scoring and it uh, uh, like it carries e question carries four marks right but even uh, the negative marking is also applicable so as you mentioned in the beginning that the part c you are doing you are able to do but part b you have a problem but uh, as sir mentioned it's a advantage for you to so focus on part c okay and uh, like as sir mentioned uh, that uh, if four options are given and if you are getting that four between two it's better to uh, omit that uh, uh, you know just move, move on and skip that question uh, because it's not no use in uh, spending time on that question because you have 75 questions and out of that you have to do 25 only right but that selection of 25 is also very difficult And uh, even a, a, a little bit, I would like to tell you about part B. Like part B, you see, it's more about memory based and required conceptual clarity, right? So, um, like uh, you already, the, the best part is you have identified where the problem is. Like as you mentioned, that you are not able to recall, right? You forget what you have studied. So yes, definitely, uh, sir. As sir mentioned, that you have to definitely like when you, I I am sure you have made a study plan, right? So in that study plan, include the time for revision also. Okay, you have to include the time for revision part also. So and uh, like uh, if you are studying any unit, as you mentioned about unit one, right? So. In uh, like we have conducted so much, uh, so many webinars and YouTube videos on important topics. So at least during revision, focus on those important topics, right? And revision doesn't mean that you have to read everything line by line, right? Like if you are making uh, like what what study method you prefer? You prefer uh, making self notes or uh, ready made material? On self notes, self notes. So you have the self notes, right? So yes. ask how you have made your self notes. Is it in a form of flow chart or diagrammatic, or you have written everything line by line in theory? No, it is in point wise or in flow chart. Okay, okay, so point wise mainly. Point wise mainly, so that's great. So I'm sure the point wise, whatever you have mentioned, these are the important things from the topic, right? Like if you are studying about, uh, mm-hmm. let's say, stabilizing interactions, so I'm sure you have uh, noted the energies uh, required to be J equivalent or dynamic bond, which is more stronger. Either. Because based on that only we get the questions. Have to be holding me, right? So, uh, so yes, at the time of revision, we have to emphasize on that point only. And a very good method of recall is practicing questions. When you practice questions, like uh, a lot of survey has been done, studies have been done by the. Uh, the experts and they have found out that this is the best method. That we call it as active recalling method. Where when you practice questions, you are actually recalling. Like let's say you see a question on, uh, like uh, let's take an example of uh, uh, let's say stabilizing interaction only. That uh, they give you four options and they ask you which is more stronger, right? So point is you recall okay in what which concept this question is based. Once you recall that concept, then apply that concept in solving questions. Especially in part B, you get these type of questions only, right? and in part C also they require conceptual clarity. So for that, you have to like whatever you have studied, you have to revise frequently. So when you are studying, concept should be clear, and definitely uh, regular revision is needed. So I hope this is helpful. Yeah. Over to you. Yeah. So thank you, Tanushree, ma'am. So Jagriti, now tell me which subject you found. More questions or more tough questions. Which is your weakest subject? So it is mostly developmental biology. Developmental biology. Okay. And any other topic which is tough for you? Genetics. Genetics. Uh, genetics. Okay. So what will be your strategy? I am sure you scored lesser in these two units. Yes. Correct. So now tell me what will be your strategy, beta, to uh, strengthen your genetics and developmental biology. Can you tell me? So I am now creating the concept of basically. You are basically it's developmental biology. Hmm. The concept of which was actually bi- developmental biology was one not uh, studying biology courses. Correct. That's why that I happens. Have, 
वो होता है समबडी इज इन बी तो उसको एम एस सी मतलब बॉटनी है तो जोलॉजी कमजोर है दिस हैपन्स राइट ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सी आई विल टेल यू वन स्टोरी ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट दिस हैज हैपन्ड अर्लियर आल्सो सो वन स्टूडेंट शी वाज वीक इन डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी सो शी डबल डाउन एंड स्टडीड अ लॉट ऑफ डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी नेक्स्ट एग्जाम शी स्कोर्ड वेरी हाई इन डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी बट हर इकोलॉजी इवोल्यूशन वॉज वीक बिकॉज वॉट हैपन इज शी थॉट दैट इज वेरी स्ट्रॉग फॉर मी आई डोंट नीड टू रिवाइज okay and she focus more on developmental biology so the formula which you have to follow which i always say is strengthen your strength but of course plug your weakness so you are trying to plug your weakness with your developmental biology okay so you have to create a strategy where you study more concepts of developmental biology but you solve more uh, uh, questions you solve more questions of the su- subject which is toughest for you which is the easiest for you sorry okay so which is the easiest subject for you tell me which is strong subject for you बायोकेमिस्ट्री But when you will sit in the exam, you will not be able to solve basic biochemistry question because it has been long time you didn't practice thinking it is strong. Okay, so we have to keep a balance between strong and weak subjects. Okay, so what I always suggest is generally I suggest four parts of the day. But okay, if you are not able to divide your day into four parts, minimum three parts you have to have in the day. One is the morning slot, afternoon slot, and evening slot. right now if you are somebody who has a early rising habit then you can have a early morning slot then morn- morning slot then afternoon then evening now if somebody you are somebody who studies at late night then you instead of the early morning you can have late night so four slots is good three slots is minimum required okay if you are preparing full time if you are pa- preparing part time that's a separate story so now what you have to do the first part when you are fresh study concepts okay now when you are sleepy revise that is afternoon and when you are tired solve questions when you are tired you see what will happen in the exam you will be tired correct that is stress management correct so when you are most stressed by evening you are tired you are fed up of then you solve questions what happens is your um, stamina improves that even though you are tired you are able to solve questions right but then there is another thing you have to remember you should always study in between 9 to 12 and um, i think uh, the next slot is 2 to 5 right afternoon session of the exam is 2 to 5 the morning is 9 to uh, 12 i guess right in these two slots you must study because if you have a studying habit in these two slots if the exam because exam will happen in that slot right so us time pe agar aapko neend aane lage ya aapko padhne ka habit nahi hai na to body circadian rhythm is not adjusted towards studying so you won't be able to focus okay these are very small things but if you do 1% change every day you will be 37 times better than last time okay so i think we have run out of time now i hope you enjoyed the session did you understand whatever we guided you on yes sir okay so now you already have my whatsapp number right yes sir okay So when you have any questions, because now we will stop the session. But if you have any more qu- future questions, what you have to do is you can WhatsApp me, and then I will guide you personally. This is how it will go, right? So right now we had this session, we discussed. Now you will have some follow-up questions which you can ask me in WhatsApp. Okay. So all the best, and do not worry. This time definitely a ninety-nine point five percentile, and more than that you will achieve. Okay. We are with you, right? Thank you, Tanshree ma'am. Thank you, Jyoti. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.